Hey everybody, welcome back to this old trike. We're sitting here at our camp at Trike Fest, and uh, I realized over the course of the four or five days we've been here that I left some of you hanging, so I've got to explain myself. I got sucked into Trike Fest prep mode. We were working on the 88 Big Red, starting at about 45, 46 days out. And uh, also had ambitions to get a 70 put together for my daughter. We had a family vacation in that time period. I had to leave for work for a week of that time period. And it got to the point where I had to make a, a call if we were gonna work on both and not get either of them done or abandon one to get the other done. And that's what we did. We decided the 88 was gonna wait. We we're gonna let the 84 200E shine this time. and and then uh, get Palin's little pink 70 done. And uh, we had to work hard and it got finished up, I think on Wednesday morning, just after our good buddy, everybody knows him, PJ Hart showed up and we did this unveiling. So here's how that played out. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you for the first time, Palin, PJ Hart, Jr. Jr. You, you might wonder, what would a fine ATC enthusiast like this ride? What like, her protege, or her, her uh, role model has the ghetto pony. Well, we've got the pink Palomino. <laughs> great I think so so now PJ and Palin have bonded through their little custom 70 horse related builds we're sitting here with Derek our, our new friend Josh who came with PJ Dave Fisher's made a return from up the road we've had Wonderful smells from the kitchen of Jim Smith, who's over to our left. And our new friend Sheldon. Sheldon! He's sitting between a beautiful, look at this, 86 250R NOS restoration. Except for one bolt. Don't let him tell you it's fully NOS. He miss, he's missing a bolt. He knows it. His son Sheldon's over there. Hey Jim, how about a wave? Jim's having some nice sausage, some boudin. He's been raving about it. Get you some of that. Button must be inside, but he's about been out here. Jim's machines, as you remember from last year, sit here all pretty. They get covered up each night and detailed in the morning. Button's and then the, in the chair right there. Oh. Button, show yourself. I see him now. Button's got the the best trike fest mullet going. Your 350X is wearing off on the side. I think I might have got that earlier. We'll put a picture over top so we could see what it looked like when it was fresh. But speaking of fresh, look at this. Let's pick it apart while Sheldon sits right here. There's a little, little wear here on the kicker. That, that loses a couple points right there, I think. It's got the over fender. And this was bought, correct me if I'm wrong, Sheldon, you said this was bought pr pretty close to this condition, but not restored, but lightly, lightly used. Low, these are, this speedometer is original to the machine. 1,628 miles. How many of those are from pushing? A few of them, okay, that's good. All right, if you can help me out, help my buddy out. This bolt, we are looking for a new old stock bolt to go there. So reach out to me if you've got one and we'll get it on this machine. Jim's machines are looking as beautiful as ever. This is Sheldon's son, Sheldon, that's a tongue twister. Sheldon's son, Sheldon's SX. 
and he's been through it all and restored it. Beautiful, beautiful. I think we're going to do a little walk around with everybody. We did this last year. It's probably going to be boring, so if you don't like boring stuff, don't watch. If you don't like long-winded videos with a guy with a sil silky bare tone, bass voice. Do you like those videos? If you don't yeah. like them. If, you don't, if some people don't watch, they, if people don't like it, they just shouldn't watch, right? Yeah. yeah. That's my opinion. Who else did we meet? Who else did we meet while we were here? What other YouTuber? Uh, Shred80. Shred80 is in the house. No, We've been hanging out with him. We'll show a couple videos of messing around with him. So that's our buddy Shred80. But let's walk around a little bit. Behind here is the camp of Rex Slaughter nestled right up behind us. Rex is a maniac. Godfather of Ohio. Six foot four. And you should see him dominate on these minis. getting their water set up ready for the drag races later. This is going to be water in the track? Oh no, this is for our uh, camper. Oh, alright, never mind. We're putting some water on the camper. Putting some water on the camper. Well, we'll let you get to it. This is where the, uh, the Indiana trike mixer was last night. They had a big bonfire. Provided some adult beverages. This is the camp of a number of people. Connor Jepson's right there, telling a big story. You can tell, look at the hand motions. Yep, it's a good story. A lot of uh, 125s here, 86, 87, 125Ms. Morning, sir. You remember our friend Yoda? Yoda, you're looking great. Yes. Yes. Amelia, may I? Morning. Mitch Rapucci. Thought that was a lot of hundreds there from back way. I don't know. Nice. Davis, sir. My condolences. I watched that. I was sitting right next to you. I wasn't recording it, but I wouldn't air it even if I was, because it was, oh, heartbreaking. Can I show everybody? Is it is it around? Or did you, you're 125? Did you throw it in the dumpster? So Davis was having a massively, oh, massively successful night at Herkin Jerk. 
And these are previously crack free fenders. Crack free. Nice and, set I had. And a non bent grab, grab bar. bar. And he was pulling on James. James with another one. And he, he won. You you killed him. Won, I think. And then he never hit the brake and he came smashing into the rear, so I didn't get it on video, but sad deal. Yep. I'm sorry about that. But how you been? How has Trike Fest been for you? It's been a while since you've been on. Trike Fest has been great. Yep. What's so, What's the best part? Oh man, just getting to see everybody and hang out. Um, you You had some victories in yeah. the uh, bounty hole. Ah, uh, well, I got beat there. But, well, it know, it, we it felt like you were victorious. Every, everybody had a good time. And yep. That's all that matters. And you let our friend Earl ride your machine. And I let Earl ride my machine. Earl's Earl awesome. I like Earl. Which one of these machines are yours? Uh, this one, and the big tan one over there. You got the big tan. And the 125 in the back seat. Okay. And the 87 125, um, the park spot is right there. Nice. Then I got I, some more back over there. I was gonna, I was gonna pull mine until yeah. I sat right next to you and watched what happened. I was like, you know what? That's not but, good I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go park it. Yeah. So sometimes you gotta make a call. You had a better call than I did. Yeah. But here, let me shut this off for a second. I got a question for you. Okay, so we're back talking about the fenders that so tragically had a, a bad night. And I was reminded that Davis and a couple other guys worked with Jesse Meyer, had a mold made, right? Am I yes, speaking right? Yes, we had the mold made for the 125 fender. Shipped the nice one to him. And uh, this is the product. So and they are right here. We, um, Brad took and painted to simulate flares on there. Yeah. But, um, you know, the fenders are pretty nice. There's no trunk on them. Um, but we did do the rear fender, the front fender, and the headlock shell. Yeah. The headlock shell is not on this machine. Okay. Um, but that's the front. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice product. Yeah. Mr. Meyer knocked it out of the park with it. Yeah, um, they always do. Jesse's a great guy to work with. Brady was able to help us out. Yeah. So they're currently sold out, but they, uh, they have the ability to make more. They got to do it in batches, though, so... If uh, you reach out to Davis, Davis Young, you can find him on Facebook. Facebook or you still doing I Warehouse that, Boys on that. Instagram? No, I no? Don't, we don't do that anymore. But okay. I, I'm but. on Instagram, Facebook, so uh, you know I'm easy to get a hold of. Oh. Somebody will yeah. See you how to find me. Let me know if you need to get a hold of him. I'll put you in the right direction. But you can get some fenders right from right through him. But they're beautiful. Thanks, Davis. Yes, sir. Appreciate no you, sir. Yep. Okay, we're back, man on the street. So there's a lot going on. All right, so. I want to give you the trike fest. What's the behind the scenes, the, the camping situation? And we've walked this last year, so check out last year's video for that feel. I'm not gonna go the way I did last year, uh, but there's kind of a couple streets here, if you want to call it that, where people park. They kept us open for that mixer last night. There's a road that goes down. You see those trees right here? There's a road that goes down in. There's lower camping there. Somebody in a Mercedes is pulling in the trike fest. This is Guy Redmond's camp right there. So we're gonna go this way. There's Willow Locio. Hey, Hillbilly Willie. And looky here. Looky, looky here. Everybody remembers Kimmy Dwyer. And with her, as always, his brother Scott. Hello, everybody. Lachlan's here too, incognito Lachlan. Yes. What's this? Somebody's missing? Oh no. 
Petite man resembling China version of John Cena. Yep. Last seen has been 2021. Responds to Hey Greedy or Lil Fella. Will likely be with two abnormally large cats riding a robot lawnmower, towing a trailer with recently purchased junk. Might ask you if you're selling gold or silver or if you have any Bud Light. Wow. I hope they find him. That's that's tragic. That is tragic. So what? Are, this, what's the name of this guy? Uh, this is Kimmy Swamp Donkey. Kimmy Swamp Donkey. We bought so much stuff we had to take it apart in order to get it home. <laughs> 86 SX. So it's got the steering stem lock. Well, yeah. some, of it. <laughs> some of it. Some uh, of it. Yeah. I look forward to seeing what you and Kimmy do with this. Kim has brought her wares, and they are nice. Oops. Large, if that was XL, that'd be nice. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh. Get on that. Oh, wow. Look. Hey, Preston. How hey, are man. You? This is my buddy Daniel Morris from hey. Illinois. Courtney Wiper. Hey. Courtney, good Courtney to see you again. Williams. I like that helmet. Thanks. That's like Palin's, only like a hotter pink. Yeah. It's a torque. Torque helmet? Torque. T O R C. Okay. And these are urban. They've got some wild graphics. Very cool. So, Very cool. How are but you you're from man? Illinois. I'm Missouri. Missouri. Yep. Missouri. Sorry, I'm from right. I'm from New York. New York. I'm waiting for that dialect to come out. Come get a Philly cheese steak. <laughs> <laughs> but this is your first trike fest and yes, you've been sir. right in the mix right from day one. So yep. awesome. And you've met Kim Dwyer. Oh yeah. That's half pin Kim. Hat and, <laughs> and it is. <laughs> Let's talk about these pins. That's a great transition. So, all right. Kim has been dominating the hat pin market, and uh, she's going to get one of every model and color. So you can you can collect them all. Find Kim on Facebook. Messenger. If you're in any of the groups, join the group. She promotes what she's got when she's got it. So you'll see it. But she's got all sorts of good stuff. I was just saying hi, Kim. Hi. Everyone remembers you from your video when we went to your house. Yes. So watch that video. Head on over to Preston's get your Honda order here. Yes, you please. Before I have to carry it over here to Kim's to yes. sell for me. But have a good one. You Alright, so we're going to go this way going this way now. I don't know if we did this this last year. This is uh, the Picarillo camp. They are with Scott Talbert and Old Stump and uh, they're selling the Trike Fest merch so they have hats and t-shirts. There's Ryan Mallon in there giving stickers to kids. This is uh, Carly's been hanging out with my daughter all week. What's up Carly? So, I got yours. we're not going to go in and attack. Here, you can carry Here is the official Trike Fest banner. All the sponsors. So, ATC, ATD, ATC, Rex Racing, that's Rex Slaughter. Valley Motorsports, that's the Picarillos, Blue Line decals, Blue Line graphics, you know, we love them. Taco Gyms, some of these I don't know. We all know Honda Hoarders. Serwa Tires, Wicked Metal Designs, they make a lot of uh, race parts for 250Rs and other machines. Three Wheeler World, Three Wheeler World is where it all started, 2002, a group of guys on Three Wheeler World said let's get together and ride three wheelers. So they came to uh, Aspen Acres and and the event has blossomed since then. So we're very thankful for those guys at Three Wheeler World that did that. Wadfather, I don't know. Chuck's ATV, we've talked about him before. Of course, 223 cycles. Power Sports Surplus. That's Power Sports Surplus. That's our missing man, Vinny Staffa. Vintage Power Sports Supply. And of course, this old trike. Back road speed design. That's my buddy Jake. He came through for me with a brake cable for Palin's machine. We needed one. DNA restorations. I don't think I know the rest. Kimmy, Kimmy 
D's nuts. That's, I don't know what that means. Joe Elliott, Keller's Canvas and Upholstery, Rye Customs. There's a lot of stuff, but let's keep moving. It's hot. It's like 10.30 in the morning, it's hot. What's up, man? Here, let me... Doc. Okay. That was our friend, Doc. He's gonna be a new grandfather. And it's not often you can just walk up on Master Carb Service Station Extraordinaire. Curdy, how are you today? Curdy, let's promote uh, your new fork boots. He now has them in blue. These will fit 250SX, 200X, and we believe Fat Cat. I brought mine to put on the Fat Cat, but yeah, I just didn't get to it. Next uh, participant of Blue Boots is this guy right Very here. Very cool. So these are not OEM. Yeah, those are not OEM. Those are not OEM. These are going to look a lot better than that. So get these from Curdy at 223 Cycles. Make sure to vote for the Pink Palomino, the best yes. custom build. That is a requirement. Yep. Yeah. But look at how the parts that come out of Curdy's shop look. You guys haven't seen the 88 carburetor yet. There's a lot of things you guys haven't seen yet that I've been recording. Curdy played some parts for me. He did some, uh, he rebuilt the carb. He said it was one of the roughest, some of those parts were some of the roughest things. So that was a, It was a crusty <clears throat> beast, to yep. say the least. It is yeah. apparently wet in England, because yes, it showed. Now we're doing all our own lighting and stuff, so it's going to make it nice and nice. We're excited. He's doing vapor honing, but he's been doing that for a long time. That's, are they, are they alive in there? Are they yeah. out and about? They were up. Uh, Probably around eight o'clock this morning. So okay. Eight eight thirty. I he looked uh, he looked a little on the rough side coming out. <laughs> they uh, that's the camp of Shred eighty. So there's the two fifty R the Sea Boys gave to him. There's his track, Big Red. They've been making the most of their time here for sure. So great guys. We'll and talk to them in a bit. What happened? I think he just got overheated. Yeah. It just got too hot. So it's a good thing you shut it off and. Yeah. Well, he was ahead. He got excited. I had to go over and look at it, work on it for him. We got it started and running last night. It, it, it seems like it wasn't hurt. Awesome. But I am very jealous of that 87 x Yeah. He got, got very, that first deal, yeah. He was jealous. racing that on the track yesterday, and I was nervous because I knew those were OEM fenders. And, yes. <laughs> and he was hammering it. He was giving it his best. He just wasn't set up to, to dominate. set up for it. <laughs> He's out there though. It's been a long time coming there. I'm glad we're finally getting together. This is absolutely, great. Absolutely. Absolutely. What do you think, Ty? It's all fun. It's a dream come true. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, how do you think the 250R is going to do out here? I think it's going to smoke. You think so? It's, you're set up on that one a lot better than the 200X. You know what? So, I'd, we, happen to, I'd happen to agree with that statement. Awesome. Let's have a fuck. Give me something. Awesome. Brandon back there. But he's, you see on the wall, he's got carb kits with. Yeah, we're going to take it everything down. 
Yeah. Everybody starts to pack up a little bit on Saturday, so. When are you leaving, Curdy? Uh, in the morning. In the morning. morning, yep. How long a drive? Eight hours. Eight hours? It's not bad. I'll let you get back to work. All right. Have a great day. See you both. 223 cycles. All your carb needs. Plus. Plus, plus. We'll let them uh, recover a little bit before we go up and get up in their business. These are my buddies from Tennessee. I don't know if I've ever gone through their stuff. This. Oh hey. Woo! We're filming. Okay. Mr. Skyler, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very good. You like this? Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Is that new old stock? That's that is. It not, looks it looks crisp. Stock. <laughs> That's the best kind. That's the only kind I got. So they're hanging out this morning. We were here. What night was it? Wednesday night, I think, till 3:30 in the morning, <laughs> just hanging correct. out, having a skull session. Gavin from Shred 80 and Tyler were here. We we're sitting with with Jay and Andy. Are you racing anything today? I'm not. I'm not. Get some footage of that stuff. I'm gonna watch for about an hour, and then we're gonna go down to the river and take a dip. And we haven't swam, so it's not swimming or it's not trike fest unless you go down the river for a dip. So. Correct. Wow. We saw the Palomino do a hot lap through here. Yeah. The pink Palomino. Don't, make sure you vote. That's right. <laughs> She's definitely been promoting herself. So. Yeah, that's phenomenal. That's why I say I just saw her go by. I'm going to shut this off for a minute. All right. I spied over here. Pretty unique looking 70 build. This is cool. Who, who does this belong to? Nice. Love it. Hey, I recognize these guys. Yeah, that's right. Everything going okay? Everything's great, Doc. How have you been? Good. All right, just got here to look around a little bit. Awesome. Doing awesome. A in the back. There you go. Get after it. <laughs> so obviously you've been here for with it for three years, but I haven't seen it before. Just been here four years. Already. Yeah. I dig it. So that's a bubble tank. How big's the motor? 140. 140. Clutch. It's beautiful. What options are there, <clears throat> excuse me, for chain guards? That one is from Jared Mayer. Uh-huh. JJ's machine. Yep, yep. He's got a lot of cool stuff and he's yeah. Sounds pretty yeah, reliable. On eBay way back in the day under, uh, strip, stripping gears. Okay. And he used to sell those in the uh, space. But are there other options to cover it all together that you were aware of? Goes Grant. They're from up in uh, New Hampshire, yeah. Sold him a 250R. It'd be great to overlay him trying to kickstart it when I sold it to him, so I'll find that and do that. Battery's dead. Oh, I brought the wrong one. <laughs> I thought I brought the one that ran. But you see all sorts of stuff. These guys are from Michigan. What's up, Chunky? That's right, that's right. You can't forget Chunky. You meet a guy named Chunky, you remember that. Especially when they're hammered. 89 250R. Woo! My wife still hates you. <laughs> I'm told I gotta come over here and check out this 70. Now, this is cool. So, these are the blue Meyer fenders, chrome bubble tank. So with the tank I did, I had to stretch the frame, but 
you don't have to stretch the frame if you do that. So those are seven inch rims and I hear those are hard to find, but that allows you to keep the same 16 by eight, seven tires. Look at that grab bar. There's so many things you can do. Very, very nice. I gotta ask him about those rims. I think I will. Leave John's camp, I'll just do a pass over his machines. We were talking about these the other night. This is the one where I met John. I was like, John, what are those tires? And he told me about the magical XA801 tires. But look how crisp those are. This is just pushing wear from Trike Fest. I swear. But. All right, thank you guys. I didn't mean to make you clear out. Good to see you, we'll see you. Take care. Nice meeting you, Joel. Nice meeting you. All right. It looks like some people maybe have cleared out. Grant, we just saw. Nice quad going by here. Not everything at Trek Fest is a quad. We don't have exclusive rights to the area. I think this is where I'm going to call it for today. This is the camp of newlyweds. Matt Keller and Bev, formerly Davidson. I don't know what they're doing for names, but oh, look at this. My friend Vinny keeps sharing links with me to one of these. It would look great moored out in front of my house. I'd like a little cleaner one, but if you have a lead on one of these, that'd be funny. Keller's conversion lots of cool stuff so over here is the uh, drag strip we're gonna be at in a little bit um, over there but there's people camping in here but it's dusty it's kind of like parking lot camping or at least over here you can get some grass we camped here in 2020 which was better than being out in that parking lot like we were the year before 2021 we were kind of where Kim Dwyer was 22 we were right near where we are now and that's why we went back there we liked it so I'm gonna walk back if I see anything good I'll I'll jump in but this is a day in the life of a trike fest uh, participant and down down over that berm there's another camping area but I don't think that we're gonna get down there at least not on foot my my ankles are pretty shot all right, guys, thanks. Here he is. We, we thought this thing was blown up last night. It's a Honda, though. She's ready to go. That's we're right. going to hit the drag stick. We're out here. We're not the whole time, baby. Let's go. Anyway, hit it. There he is. Curdy wasn't lying. That's something you don't see every day. That's pretty cool. This is something you don't see every day. That's pretty cool. This isn't yours, is it, Hayden? Yeah, we bought it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's sick. Love it. I just knew I had to get it when I saw it. This is now. This is Davis Young's brother, Hayden Young. So. We were just walking around admiring the sights, but I gotta make my way back yeah, to camp. Yeah, well, I had to get Cole's nice new round. So yep, yep. I think it looked cool, man. If awesome. I get my 125, I'm gonna get up there. We'll see ya. Getting ready for the drag races. 
got to get ready for the drag races. Got to ask Rex Slaughter about a base gasket for a 250R for Gavin Carlson. Brad Rye right there, someone out, joining the world. Morning, Brad. No, I'm watching. <laughs> Look at all the 125 M's. Have you ever seen so many? All right, over and out.